two-part question, Bobby. It was, huh? ter it was terrific. Thanks. How did you guys hook up, you and Shecky, and did the Genesis, um, did this idea come from you're actually observing auditions themselves, or what oh, was the sure. genesis of that design? Well, it came, the, the premise came from from my idea, my concept. I did a rock opera. I wrote a rock opera. I wanted to do a workshop of it years ago. I needed two females. I put an ad in the paper, and all these girls showed up, and I was just like, ding. <laughs> and uh, that's where it came from. And then, uh, But we all, from auditioning in the theater for so long, I mean, you just know how auditions go. And, and so we, 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 we threw the audience into the world of auditions, but we bumped it up a notch of silliness, obviously. You know, no one comes in with a stripper pole and drills them in. Because <laughs> I don't, I, I, I never did. Uh, but, uh, was that, was, and did you have a part? How, how did you guys uh, hook up with each other? How did, how did you know each other? I, Josh and I had done Romeo and Juliet together. I was a fantastic Juliet. And, um, and, um, and then Shecky was in L.A. and Shecky and Josh knew each other, but my wife and I were in New York and 9-11 happened. And then we just got married and we both kind of freaked and like, let's get out of the city. So we went to L.A. and I told Josh I wanted to start writing and putting all this madness down and he introduced me to Shecky and that was it. And the rest of the time all we did was laugh our ass off. Every time we got together, we laughed. We, right Shecky? Come on here, Shecky. Yeah. Oh. We laughed. We, 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 we this, is, this is how we wrote it. Come on, Shecky. It's like running, running out of a, hold on. It was like, um, it was like running in and out of the room. Like we're running, we're doing car, we did anything. Go ahead, tell them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tell them. Yeah, Lord, we can. So forceful with me. Uh, we would, we would meet at, at my place or his place and, and literally it was just chaos. It was like, I got an idea, I got an idea. Run out and come back in, and and we'd be rolling on the phone, and be like, that'll never work. And then we'd start over again with something else. And just, I don't know. We just, literally was just this labor of love that we just knew we had to keep moving with it, and it just just keep writing. It was, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. And it continued during production. Yes, it did. It did. It did. And what was great about the production is like we had a storyboard all laid out, but being a first time feature film director you have you know a budget and you have a schedule and we were behind like the first three days and ty was on my ass obviously it's her job so like we're not gonna make it we're not gonna make it i was like would you just get off my back we're gonna do it <laughs> and that pressure bought some of the greatest moments i feel in the film like i think one of my favorite parts of the, of the film happened when they were on the fly like the scene where like i go oh man i put the welding mask on after he leaves and josh is like i'll direct this play that scene was supposed to be like totally like four different shots and four different angles and because of time we were at the end of the day we simplified it all to just like one you know, shot, and I think it's just such a great looking, fun, zany shot, and that's when I was like, well, we'll bring in a wardrobe supervisor, let's get it under those lights, and, and then it was just always like that, it's, yeah. you know, we had a schedule, but then there was many moments that on the fly you had to think on our feet so we wouldn't fall behind schedule or uh, fall, you know, behind on, on our finances, on our money, and uh, it was a 26 day shooting schedule, but we got it done in 23, so it all ended up being, wasn't it, am I right? Yes, I'm right. <laughs>